Miami Sea Aquarium in Virginia Key. This is a live picture as workers have hoisted uh, Lolita from the uh, the pool there where she has been for five decades now onto that truck. This is uh, news that broke this afternoon. The Sequarium announcing that Lolita, whose native name is Toki, who's been at the Miami Sequarium for some five decades now, has passed away. And now those workers are taking Lolita's body uh, on that truck. We're not exactly sure where it's headed. Uh, we do know based on the statement from the Sequarium that her death was tied to some renal issues, again, being in captivity for more than five decades. Unclear whether at this point where she will be taken is to undergo a necropsy to determine an exact cause of death. We don't know those details at this time. Again, you are looking at live pictures if you are just joining us. These are live pictures from Key Biscayne and Miami Sequarium where the body of Lolita the killer whale has been lifted out of the pool in which she has been held for the past 50 plus years and her body is being put into a flatbed of, of some sort to be moved outside of the aquarium. Uh, of course, we will continue to stay on top of this breaking story tonight and bring you the latest on CBS News Miami at 11. We'll be right back.